Okay, more truth tables, this time with implications. We're going to work with different statements instead of love and marriage. We're going to talk about food, which is really important. Um, so, and classes, right? So our two statements for this one that I'm going to use to make it make sense are P is going to stand for you pass, which I guess should have a period after it, and a capital Y, whatever. And Q, I'll make quesadillas. And this thing is an implication. What is that thingy? The arrow thingy? Yeah, it's an implication, which is kind of like a promise or an if-then. Some people call it a promise. Some people call it if-then. It can go if, P, then, Q is the same thing as P, arrow, Q. Or P implies. Q. So there's a whole bunch of different ways to look at it, but it's called the implication. It's an if then and it's a promise. Okay, so let's look at this stuff. We got the P's and Q's just like last time. Everything's set up. So in the first situation, did you pass the class? Yes. And did I make quesadillas? Yes. And so everything's good, right? Mm -hmm. I kept my promise. So if I kept my promise, then I told the truth. So next time, did you pass the class? Yeah. Did I make you quesadillas? Mm -hmm. No. So was I honest? No. No. I lied to you. I did not keep my promise. So this time, this is false. Okay. So, next one. Did you pass the class? No. Did I make quesadillas? Yes. Is that okay? Mm, sure. You like quesadillas. Yeah. And I make great quesadillas. So it's okay. What I said is if you pass the class, then I'll make quesadillas. Did I say what would happen if you didn't pass the class? Mm, nope. No, in case it is are easy to make, I make them all the time. So, yeah, so this is still true. Okay, this time, did you pass the class? No. Did I make case ideas? No. Is that okay? Yeah. So, this is true, right, because I didn't promise it. I didn't, I just said that if you pass, if you pass, I'll make you case ideas. Um, so the only way that this can be a lie is if you pass and I don't make you quesadillas. And then you can say mean things about me. Because I was mean and horrible and a liar. So this one only has one instance where it's false. Let's now go from our third little sticky note into some more complicated ones. This one has an and, and we have our sticky note from earlier for the ands. So we're going to have our little sticky note over here for ands. Okay, so we've got our if then, we've got our and, and this time we've got Q's, P's, and R's. So we need a longer truth table because there's three different symbols going on. So we probably need the whole page. It's kind of like a lot of stuff. Let me move those up so we have plenty of space. Boom. So we've got a P. I'm not on the screen. We've got a P and a Q and an R. Okay, and before we would do true, 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 false, but since we have three things, we actually have to go true four times to, to account for all the two different varieties of Q's and the two different varieties of R's. So we're going to do four trues, and then the Q's, because we still have to account for the R's, we need true, true, so that we can have a true, false there, and that gives us all the different varieties. So here is false false, true, false. And then this repeats itself for all of the false values of P. False, false, false. So these get long and complicated and you've got to do them in this order or it's not going to be okay. So they have to be in this order. So here we go. This one, true, true, false, false, true, false, true, False. Blah. That's lots of stuff. Okay. So we need not Q implies P and R. So we can do P and R or not Q next. It doesn't matter which one you want to do next. I'm going to do not Q. And you know what I'm going to do to get not Q. I'm going to cover up my R so it doesn't confuse me right. And I'm going to cover up my P too. So all I got to do is look at, R, at Q. I'm going to try to try. Okay, so not Q, we're just reversing these. So false, false, true, true, false, false, true, true, just reversing those. Awesome, that one's done. Okay, next we're going to do this the two different ways we did it last time. 
we've got P and R. My R doesn't look very R-ish. It's R, whatever. So P and R. So I'm going to get rid of the Q and the not Q that I just made and look at and. And let's look back at and here. Can you guys see that? Is it on the screen? So for and, it's almost always false. For and, the only place it's true is if they're both true. Both parts of your statement need to be true. So let's just find those. True, true. That one's true. Okay. Is there another true, true? Right here is another true, true. That one's true. And then all these are false. So there's no way there can be a true, true down here because all those are false. So there's only two places here where this is true. So we're going to go ahead and false all the other ones. Did I go too far? No, that's right. All right. So we've got that one now. All right. There's two different ways to do it. The standard old school way is to go ahead and do not Q implies P and R. And that requires us to just look at these guys. False implies true. And you can look at here. Let's get rid of that guy now since we're not using him. False implies true is true because that was you didn't pass the class, but I made quesadillas anyway because I'm nice. So I didn't lie to you. So false implies true is true. False implies false. That was here where you didn't pass the class and I didn't make quesadillas and I didn't lie, which means everything is true. So true implies true. You passed the class. I made you quesadillas. Everybody was happy. True implies false. This is the sad one. This means you passed the class and I didn't make you quesadillas, which means I lied or told a falsehood. So false implies false. Again, that's all fine because you didn't pass and I didn't make you quesadillas. False implies false again. True implies false. These are both the same. True implies false definitely gives you um, a falsehood because you passed the class and I did not stick up to my end of the bargain. So that's one way you can do it and you can go ahead and circle your answer or you can do it the way I was talking about in the previous video where you don't even make that extra column. You go ahead right here and you put your implication right there and follow through these. False implies true is your true. False implies false is still true. True implies true is still true. True implies false. That's the problem. One false. False implies false is true. False implies false is true. True implies false and true implies false. These are both false. Those were the lying ones. So you can either do it in the last column or do it right in here as long as you indicate to me which answer is or which column is your answer, then it's all good.